we stand, the divide we fall. If we can come together, we can go to Mars from the land of the kings. We can conquer all, but without education, we ain't going that far. United we stand, the divide we fall. If we can come together, we can go to Mars from the land of the kings. We can conquer all, but without education, we ain't going that far. For those who do not know me, my name is Thomas Burke. I am the chairperson for the Mentoring Network of Jackson County here in town. The reason for this event is all about mentoring, it's all about our youth here. Everybody give it up for Hakeem Cram. I appreciate it, Dr. Daddy. We're going to try to make this event uh, one of the best events that Jackson has seen. So this particular event, uh, the second event, Welcome to the Mic, is the first and what we hope to be with series uh, of open mic poetry events, giving the microphone to the children so that they could express themselves and tell us what's going on in their hearts and their minds that we aren't listening to as parents. I did a poetry competition at Jackson High School and I was surprised, I was very amazed at what was on the mind of our youth. They haven't been given a platform to express it and we want to give them a platform to express what's on their minds so that we can understand exactly some of the problems, the conditioning that they go through. Each generation after generation, we talk about the conditions and problems of our community. Well, each generation of youth that come up, they are the ones that are helping shape that generation that we are so disappointed in. So therefore, that means that we as parents, as adults, as rational adults, we have to be the ones to sit up there and recreate and restage the environment that our kids are raised in so that when we get an older age, we can look back and be proud of the generation that walks our streets. Right now, we're not. We're not proud at all. So that's what I want to focus on with Welcome to the Mic. And uh, I want to congratulate all of the students from Jackson High School that participated in that competition. Um, in specific, uh, Justice Ivory and um, Sterling Farr, who are both here today. They were two of the top winners in the poetry competition. And I want to thank them. We're going to give them a platform today to say something, to read their poetry. Spoken word poetry. Powerful. Let the fire inside unleash its brilliance. Now I'm going to open this up. So I'm going to do a little spoken word freestyle, spoken word poetry for y'all, okay? Let me get a topic. Can I get a topic from one of the children? What's on your mind? Tell me something. What? Tell me. Girls. Oh, man. Let me get a second topic. I'm going to blend both of them together. Yes. Life, okay? This is a life test, I say. I say this is a life test for the reality of our youth. Our youth have been dying inside, destitute from their own souls, battling and abused from being at risk in our streets. I say this is a life test of a Surgeon General warning of our youth that are pleading and crying and dying inside and saying help. And here we are standing here in the Martin Luther King Center in Jackson, Michigan. We are begging and praying for their help. Can someone please stand up and help our youth? I say this is a Surgeon General warning. This is a life test. Each and every one of our children deserve to live, to live free because inside their souls they are dying inside because no one is listening. No one is listening to their pleas and their cries. And I say your young man here wants me to speak about girls and I don't got time to speak about girls because I I got books on my mind. I got school tests on my mind. I'm trying to get an education. I'm trying to get in college. I'm trying to resurrect my mind and my soul because if not, I will die inside my soul and yet I'm trying to grow. This is freestyle spoken word poetry. I say, I say, I don't got time to talk about girls. This is a life-driven test. This is a surgeon general warning on the side of a tobacco because our children are death dying inside. Surgeon general warning, I say, I say the streets is smoking them. The streets is smoking them and they're killing them and burying them six feet deep, burning behind prison bars, behind prison fences. I say, Freestyle spoken word portion. Who will send the stage to speak their mind and say what they have to say because our children are dying inside? Save our youth, incorporate. This is what we intend to do. Freestyle spoken word portion. Let the light shine. Y'all like that? Freestyle spoken word portion. All right, we're going to call Jay Jurz to the stage. He got something to say. What's on his mind? Respect the mic. With this pen and pad, I use like jabs, tools of the trade to get this cash. Microphone ripper, lyrically I deliver, spoken word way colder than the river in the winter. I'm ready for the lights, born ready for the cameras. Ready to bring millions to the city called Jackson. See, I have a dream, like the great Dr. King. 
I'm making money off these songs that I sing Or should I say rap? Cause this music my trap I grind, I rhyme on numerous tracks I'm chasing the dream Even though I might not make it Finish line so close and I might not break it Step my game up cause I'm plotting on this cash Haters representing the fourth of the obstacles standing in my path But I cruise right by them Cause my dreams I will never let them suicide them Kill them off before I get to try them My dreams plus my goals equals a reality Spitting flows every day just to gain my fair salary I don't need to be the richest or be in the most pictures I just want to spit more verses than the Bible scriptures as long as I can get a voice and the people listen You can make your own choice to feel my comprehension Like minds coming to an understanding Calling plays on the fly, I'm similar to Manning This is my dream, I'ma get it when the going gets rough When the chips get down, I'm going like Kobe in the clutch This is my dream, ain't a soul wanting more than me Hope for the best, prepare for worse, so I plan life accordingly this is my dream, I know I'm gonna make it From the bottom to the top, I just gotta be patient See, I have a dream yeah. Tell me, who do I look to when put through hard tests? And who will tell me to do my best? When I've lost my way and unable to see Will you be there to shine your light on me? Or if I'm headed in the wrong direction Will you be my guide or my protection? Will you be there for me? Every day I see negative stuff, this life is rough. So if I fall, will you lift me up? Will you sit and watch while time go by, while I die inside? Dry, your eye, dry my eyes when I cry, will you be there for me? One more time, y'all, Starling Fire. He's an up and coming, inspiring poet. We expect to see great things from him in his classroom we're gonna be working with. Our first feature tonight, a welcome to the mic, is the winner at Jackson High School of the Welcome to the Mic High School Student Poetry Competition, Justice Ivy. Uh, let's go around the world and play a game of life, but without shooting dice. Let's play tic-tac-toe and see who wins. Maybe then we'll see who's living this life of sin. Now how about a game of sorry, because I should have never lived the life at the after party. Now who's drunk on the couch looking dumb? Me and you, cause I let you talk me into something I would never do. Now I'm in this cold cell. Man, I can't believe I'm in jail. Cause someone I thought was my friend wasn't a true one in the end. Now I'm serving time for something I didn't do, all because of you. Now I'm sitting here wondering, why'd you choose me to blame? When you was the one trying to cheat at this game. But now I'm out, living life without a doubt. With the Lord by my side and helping me through every fight. Not caring for people like you, who won't be like me, happy and successful. All because you wanted to cheat at a game you couldn't beat. Because you ain't playing right, why? Because you constantly shooting at dice. Now you dead, but if you would have listened to me, if you would have listened to what I said, it could have been me and you doing what we supposed to. But now you go on and all I can do is sing your favorite song. But I'm not, because if I were you and you were me, you wouldn't have never done that for me. Because you, cause, cause you ain't you, now I see you kids, they always asking what dad did. But I look him in the eyes and just say, don't shoot dice or you're going to end up part of the afterlife. But without further ado, let me bring it up to your stage, brother Booker Snow, um, very, very powerful speaker, and uh, he's a very good lyricist and a spoken word poet. Thank you very much. Hello, hello. Hello. Did you break this, man? He was in here dancing with it before we got here, what? Trying to do Michael Jackson moves and stuff. You saw this is it, you just lost your mind, did you? Everybody hear me? Yeah. Cool. All right, first piece is called I Walked Away From. In broad daylight, we still see the Nokia flag. We beefing over cash, brown bags holding our stash. Even shorties cocking blacks. Last week they shot Mystique, the scene was bleak. Caught some beef burning the leaf. Abandoned houses hiding, abandoned houses hiding bodies. Cops rolled by cocking shotties. They caught us chilling in the lobby, dirty, drunken, walking sloppy. I rolled in my jalopy, hub caps with no heat. Tailpipe coughing smoke, transmission is weak. Public transportation running late, we faster on feet. 
My dudes in lockup, because they never bailed on the beef. Now missing poverty, hood falling off psychologically. We wear the bottom beat, young man thinking illogically. Somebody pray for me. Don't believe in me, I'm just a man who can fall. See the kingdom in me, that can stand through it all. I walked away from it. Ironically, we still fall down to our knees, begging please, God free us from a disease. I walked away from bars and clubs, dice chilling in huds, turning up 40s and telling lies with the thugs, having unprotected sex, neglect faith just to save face, but still rock a crucifix hoping to keep us in place, heat on my waist, red from cops just to be safe. The only time I pray is when I say grace, somebody pray for me. Now I want to introduce our last feature of the night. As I said, her name is Natasha, Miss Beautiful Thought. Her and I have uh, been in several different cafes together on the same night. We've even been out of state together and, and, and did a show in Gary, Indiana. And uh, she's a very, very accomplished poet. So without further ado, I want to introduce y'all to a good friend of mine, Miss Natasha, Beautiful Thought. The soul inside. Behind my glasses, I see so many looking at me with envy. Little do they know that I am just me. I don't know how to be anybody else. They don't know what I've been through. They wouldn't even want to walk in my shoes. Behind my glasses, I see so many hoping to God one day they can also see. I expose my soul till it bleeds. Prayerfully, it will help you grow even in spite of me. As I enter the stage, I turn opaque. Not fully transparent as God is still working within me. I believe that I'll become the color of glass one day. But right now, you'll have to settle for reflections of color. Bits of yellow impurities inside a pretty diamond. I'm trying to be all that he wants, but I confess, this life is much harder than it looks. I took, am taking steps closer to his face, but sometimes I don't feel like running this race. It's scary those times when you feel all alone. God is always present, but sometimes I wanna pick up a phone. See, we've come now to depend on modern technology and friends. We forget that our Father in heaven, that's our real home. So I talk affirmations to myself in verse or prose. And if it touches someone else's soul, only God knows. See, my poetry is my ministry to me. My feet get stuck at times and travel places I wish they wouldn't. But want. See, it's an awful heavy bag to carry, and sometimes I just want to drop it and run away. But don't. I'll leave you with this. Remember, when people talk big and bad, it doesn't mean that they themselves believe their own swag. They might really be living a lie, and it's fear or something else that helps them carry that false pride. So I say, never judge a person by merely their words. Get to know them and their soul inside. One more time, y'all, for beautiful thought. Come on, y'all, come stronger than that. Um, I want to thank Natasha and Booker Snow for coming down. And particularly, I want to thank the students from Jackson High School that participated in this competition. Welcome to the mic, part two. Stay tuned, y'all. Appreciate y'all. My name is Hakeem. Thanks. Study some 